Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, I have been cranking along on our new level on Institution and have been getting a whole bunch of new props and systems related to props and cover into the scene this week. So the big thing, the big new sort of systemic advance is that I have created this hierarchical prop placing system for the level. And this, what this does is it allows me to define these sub assemblages that then can have sub pieces of them further defined within sort of random ranges to create and place props and cover in the level. So if we take a look at this, we've got some barrels over here. We've got a transit sled, a bunch of shelves, not actually that much cover in the hallways, but then if I reload this scene, We've got a completely different layout. That is that is floating slightly. Different sleds, different positions, different amounts of cover, different locations of our destructibles. There's not a ton of variation in just yet as I spent most of the time on the props and the systems this week and I only have about like eight different profiles for each of the sleds and the shelves, uh, but that will increase over time. You can see along with it, these are these are actually dynamic objects, um, but then the green ones here, this is a static one. That's the way that you can tell them apart. The reason for this is that this will actually block AI sight. Uh, if we got up here enough, uh, you know, I should actually add a grab point to this. Can we arm swinger jump up? Oop, uh, forward, yes, awesome. We are up near the ceiling. Oh, this feels cool, like so. And so, as I said, they'll block AI sight. You can climb on them, whereas the dynamic ones can be moved around, um, but they don't. And that has to do with the way that nav mesh carving works uh, and just preventing creating. If if you could stand on an object that you could pick up, you'd very quickly go to space, uh, the way that H3 works. Do, 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 jump down. We have a uh, a set of, I, I think I had shown these off before. These are our destructible, these are our, they can now be picked up. These are our standardized FPS explosive barrels, brutalism model type A. And this is actually gonna be a larger set. There's going to be an explosive one, a non-explosive one, and then a couple other sort of special effect ones, mainly because I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate and it's super fun to have sort of power in a destructible like that. So I'll probably create like a cryo barrel. There'll be one that lets off a whole bunch of smoke, probably a flash bangy type one. And those will be randomly distributed through parts of this level. And so it's a sort of thing that if, you know, if a SOSIG is coming by and it just happens to be next to it and you shoot one up oh, and manage to hit it bam you can take them out with it or if you just enjoy plague uh, taking hold but just running around like a gremlin and collecting as many of them as you can into a pile to use at an opportune moment you will be able to do that as well though that just all of a sudden reminded me that i'm totally going to have to edit the take and hold code to not automatically delete all of these as soon as a hold starts as these are physical objects there's our non-explosive one i'm really glad that didn't explode when it tipped over bammo i have given them a fairly tight radius uh just so that huge chain reactions don't occur going down the hallway there we go that was an embarrassing number of shots that it took to get that right there's a bunch of other sort of di dynamic or semi-dynamic props that are going into the aim oh that is misconfigured that's hilarious you're not supposed to rotate that direction. You're supposed to go the other one. Whoops. The way, oops, the way this joint, I need to make this grabbable as well. So many things to do. So yeah, and let's see, let's actually tool on over to this side of the level. I can't remember if I've shown off the power sector at all on devlog. This, there's five sectors, sectors to this level. So as we come over to power here, I just got this visual effect 
working this week. I love it. These are this is a transformer room, and this is another example of the sort of thing that I want to add into this level, which is to have interesting things that are both cover and react to being shot in a certain way. So it's not operational yet, but basically I'm making it so that if you shoot various parts of this, you'll get a discharge. And if there is essentially something strikeable, like a SOSIG or an exploding barrel or what have you, that is within a certain range angularly of the part that you strike, uh, an electrical discharge will shoot off, strike it, do damage, hurt the SOSIG, explode the barrel, etc. So I want to specifically make it so that you can still pass through here unharmed, isn't going to electrocute you, uh, but there's going to be components of it that react to being shot. And I want to I want to basically put as many things into the level like that as possible and is sensible just because, you know, I'm aware of the fact I've made big levels filled with not much uh, a bunch in the past and I'm trying as much as possible with institution here to just make it as varied as possible each time you play and make it so that a bunch of the play surface and the entities uh, within are, you know, reactive enough that runs are meaningfully different from each other and more cool and explosive things can happen. Whew. So yeah, so that is it for this week. As I said, I don't have a uh, I don't have a build for you. I've just been focusing all my energy on the level. My hope is that next week I'll be able to move a whole bunch of these props and experiments over to the testing version of the level that is just the north sector, so you folks can play around with them. You can bug fix the uh, bug test them. I'll have to fix the bugs, but yeah. So hope this is all interesting to you and i hope you all have a uh, yourselves a wonderful weekend and i'll see you all soon peace